One of the more pathetic videos we have seen is how conservatives try to pander to other conservatives for money and clout. And for that, say hello to Seth Weathers, who throws in woke loosely without, you know, understanding what it actually means. Would you mind defining woke? Because it sure does seem to have a very, very loose definition to right-wingers. Thus, Weathers throws woke into beer sales and even says if you know which bathroom to use you know what beer you should be drinking he goes on to state stop giving money to woke corporations they hate our values they hate our heritage blah 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 and to the rest of the woke corporations stay away from our kids well 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 where to begin not only is the can blatantly ripping off Michelob ultra but it's 20 dollars for a six pack not to mention if we read what's in it the abv how many calories it has it's basically just bud light but rebranded here joey on tiktok had his say and they say that this beer is brewed and canned in northern illinois and i have to assume that that means chicago because if it didn't mean chicago they just say the city that it was from and more to the point, there are only two breweries in Northern Illinois that have the ability to put something like this together, you know, that have the canning capacity and have the national distribution networks. And both of them are in Chicago. So the conservative dad's ultra-right beer is being brewed in Republicans' biggest boogeyman city. But wait, it gets even better. Because the only two breweries that they could have contracted with are Lagunitas and the Goose Island Beer Company. But the thing is that neither of those companies is independent. Lagunitas is owned by Heineken, and Goose Island is owned by AB InBev, the same company that owns Budweiser, which makes Bud Light. As did Diva Sunglasses on the same platform. And Diva Sunglasses would note the grifting from Seth Weathers and fellow conservatives is on full display. First things first, his mechanics. Not great. Objectively speaking, if you can't sell us on a throwing motion, how are you going to sell us on tossing back a cold one, pun intended? Second, this is all because of the backlash Bud Light received when teaming up with influencer Dylan Mulvaney by simply recognizing trans folks exist. The racism got old and now conservatives have shifted their target to another marginalized community for voters. Obviously, many, including Cody Johnston, pointed out the hypocrisy a ton of conservatives spout with companies trying to be political, then including this new venture of right-wing beer. This is what sparked that ridiculous Kid Rock, grab my AR, even though I come from a wealthy family in Michigan, so I understand the grift of pandering video. Hilariously, Donald Trump Jr. has called for Republicans to end their boycott of Anheuser-Busch for one reason. They give donations to conservatives. Essentially, the trust fund baby is mandating those who are angered to not screw up the money. Last year, Open Secrets reported Anheuser-Busch donated nearly half a million dollars to the NRCC, a point the Daily Wire's Matt Walsh opposed. In another twist, Seth Weathers and co. have said it will cost $19.99 for a six-pack, and they have received, quote, thousands of orders, maintaining they will ship directly to consumer. However, ChicagoBusiness.com notes that is illegal in the state they are allegedly brewing in Illinois. On top of this, eight states do not allow this to happen. Some of those are Republican-controlled states, so that may potentially affect their bottom line. They also claim to be shipping, at least beginning of the shipping process, in the beginning of May. However, there has not been a single label filed with the U.S. Treasury Department's Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. The clock is ticking. Questions should be asked. Is this all part of the grift to pounce on a culture war issue? Kevin Carey, owner of Bagel Brewing, or Beagle Brewing, in the North Center neighborhood told Chicago Business, it seems like it just might be another scam. Another way to take people's money using hate. Seems like just another way to stir the pot. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, like Kid Rock and conservative dads, posted of another conservative favorite, Coors Light, to do their part in hating on the LGBTQ plus community. 
Now, here's the thing. Many online were quick to point out Coors is another supporter of LGBTQ plus rights, promoting the rainbow flag and trans colors on their beer. Even on their website, Coors has a commitment to the LGBT community. Thinking things through, not necessarily a staple of conservatism. Queerty would write of Weathers that he is, quote, one strange dude. He appears to be a middling influencer selling t-shirts with clunky sayings to the tune of 12 likes. His wellness company, Conservative Body, doesn't have its own Instagram. Weathers pushes his fitness wisdom on his personal page with tons of clunky videos. Now, here's the question. Do the boycotts actually work? The Slate, companies that right-wing entities have called for boycotts of or claim to be personally boycotting have included Amazon, Budweiser, Gillette, Keurig, Macy's, Netflix, Nike, the NFL, Nordstrom, Starbucks, Target. There was also a related movement to buy more Goya products because its CEO supported Donald Trump previously. None of these market interventions have been sustained or effective. Really, they're better understood as facets of the right-wing media spam economy than as attempts to actually get large companies to change their policies. What else is there left for them to boycott? After all, and maybe the most notable, was when Donald Trump said that he was going to be boycotting Coke. And then, days, weeks later, this was after the All-Star Game fiasco with Major League Baseball and their Jim Crow-like voting legislations that was passed. Days later, weeks later, there he was with a Diet Coke can being hidden on his desk, just not to the best of his abilities. What I see here is... If I'm being very blunt, another grifter that is pouncing on an issue to try and make themselves relevant. We have seen it previously. We will continue to see it again. The better question is, how many conservatives are actually going to buy this? And how long is this business model going to be sustainable?